welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Thank you for joining me in a new video. I am here to bring you two weekly grocery hauls. The first haul is going to be from Costco and then I'm going to show you our second haul and that is going to be from Walmart. I hope that you enjoy seeing grocery hauls and if you do, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up because that helps me know and YouTube know that you are enjoying today's video. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the Costco haul. So today I spent $258.98. That included a donation to the Phoenix Children's Hospital. I just did a dollar. They asked if I wanted to do a dollar. I said yes. Um, so this is an overview of everything we got. I'm going to start over here. These are Italian herb and cheese tortellinis. I have gotten these a couple times before and then didn't see them for a while and we absolutely love them. They are so good. So if you see these at your Costco, definitely pick them up. And this bag will feed at like two meals at least because if it's just the kids eating, I use even less. And it does have this little sticker right here where you can fold the bag down and then seal it. Um, so it does last more than one meal and I believe it's only $7.99 for this whole package. This is another staple that I get quite often when I go to Costco. It is Sabatino's Paleo Organic Pineapple Chicken Meatballs. These are delicious. So grab those if you see them as well. Taylor Farms Creamy Italian Chopped Kit. I've gotten this once before. It comes with two bags. I believe it was $6.99 for two bags, so it's a great deal. I needed some more granulated garlic. I did get these fiber capsules. I started recently taking fiber as well, um, just because I have issues with my digestive system. I don't have a gallbladder, and... Um, I've been diagnosed with IBS. So um, anyways, I didn't actually get these ones for myself because I just bought a big bottle at Target last week. But my mom and her husband, they had to start taking fiber as well. And all three of us prefer the capsules rather than mixing it into a drink, especially for me because I only drink water. And I know that you can add it to water. It says it doesn't have a taste, but it's not the taste. It's like the grainy texture. I just, I don't like it. So I started taking capsules as well. So I texted my mom while I was at Costco. She doesn't have a Costco card or a Sam's Club card. So I asked her if this was cheaper because for me, even just comparing the one I got at Target, which I think was eight dollars or ten dollars i can't remember but it was like less than this one bottle in itself and you have to take five a day um yeah so this one is five a day as well but it comes with 360 in each each bottle and this together was twenty dollars so um i picked that up for my mom and then when i am out of mine and i need to get more i'm definitely going to go to costco or even Sam's Club. They probably will be even cheaper at Sam's Club. This is Queso Mama White Queso with diced green chilies. Cinco de Mayo is this week. So as I'm filming this, um, Cinco de Mayo is, in, is on Friday. So I got this to have for dinner. Hopefully it's good. Bananas. And then I got this Victoria um, marinara sauce these two together they were on sale I believe it was $8.94 and these jars are huge so I decided to grab them while I was there I think I might have a jar or two left in the pantry still um, but they were on sale so and we're going to use it we use pasta sauce a lot and um, so I think I make like something with pasta sauce at least once a week so grabbed that we got these once before when we went to the cabin when we did a little staycation over the winter. Um, the crispy beef burrito tacos, they were a hit. They were really good. So I got that for Cinco de Mayo as well. Um, just 
something easy. I don't really have to make tacos. And then one more thing to go with Cinco de Mayo is the organic Mexican street corn. This is from the brand The Tattooed Chef. I don't think, oh, there it is. Yes, it's from the brand Tattooed Chef. I've gotten this once before as well. It is really, really good if you love street corn. Highly recommend that. And this was on sale as well. I believe $7.99. This is another family favorite, the Island Way Sorbet. And it comes in the little like rinds, like little fruit bowls. So you have 12 total, three coconut, three red berry, and ruby grapefruit, three passionate mango, and three zesty pomegranate. You guys, delicious. You guys have to get these. Um, I wanted to show you guys, they are all pretty low in calorie, except the coconut one, obviously, because it's a lot creamier and more sugar. Um, but if you're watching your calories, the pomegranate mango and the zesty pomegranate, or passionate mango and zesty pomegranate, both of those, are delicious which one comes in the whatever one comes in this lemon one which i think is the pomegranate that one is my favorite with a little bit of lemon zest oh so good and we haven't seen them there for a while so i'm glad that they brought them back and that and here is another staple that i can't always find but whenever i do i get them every single time it is this Sokusa, probably not saying that right, but happy shrimp chips. If you guys like shrimp or seafood, oh, these are so light and airy and delicious. They are made with garlic and butter. So good. 10 out of 10, recommend those. Emma was begging me for chicken bakes for like, I don't know, a few weeks now. And I normally go to Sam's Club just because their prices are a bit cheaper, but they don't have these there. So that's why I went to Costco specifically was to get her her chicken bakes. Then I got a bag of these French sandwich, sandwich rolls, which I'm also going to use to make some garlic bread this week when I make the tortellinis. Just going to cut these in half, throw some butter on, garlic powder on it, pop it in the broiler or oven, and voila, garlic bread. And I have been eyeing this. And Josh also mentioned that he wanted to try it. So I finally got it. It's miso glazed cod. Um, flame seared wild cod brushed with miso teriyaki glaze. Now that sounds so delicious. And so it looks like there's eight servings per container. One filet, 100 calories. So not bad at all. This was something that was also on sale. I have not tried this one. Um, so this will also be new to us, but they are True Bars, plant-based protein bars. They have eight OO cookie dough and eight daydreaming about donuts. Look how delicious those look. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see the calories. The donuts is 180. The cookie dough is 190. And... Both of them have 12 grams of protein, so not too bad. Um, they're simply made with healthy fats, cocos, pea protein, and cassava. So dairy, soy, and sugar alcohol free. No junk, all plant-based. So I'm, int I'm interested in trying these. Um, so 16 bars, I believe this was $13.79. Again, they were on sale. I believe they're almost $20, not on sale. We do have some fresh strawberries. I don't think I mentioned avocados. I love getting avocados at Costco and Sam's Club because they are usually cheaper than the standard grocery store. I had to pause to put all of the cold food away because it's extremely hot and I didn't want it to melt any more than it did. So I also forgot to mention that I have a case of Coke Zero that I also got from Costco, it's just in the garage. I didn't feel like hauling it in because I don't need to restock the fridge yet. Anyways, moving on to the rest of the haul. So I ended up getting this candle set. I have not seen these available at Costco before. It is by the brand Simply Indulgent. There are three four wick candles. 
They are made with essential, essential oils and blended soy wax. Um, they did have them out so you could smell them. Only these two, I wasn't able to smell this one. But it comes in a little tin. They aren't even glass. So this would make the perfect end of the year gift for teachers, um, especially if you have younger kids who can't carry glass to school. Um, I know that our school kind of has like a limit on that. So these are all made in a tin and they're pretty too. Let me open them. So here is what they look like opened. They're not full like all the way to the top. Um, this one is, so here is what, this is what they look like with the tops off. Again, they are four wick. They're not full filled to the top, which is kind of annoying, but um, it was $20 for all three. Again, they would make great teacher gifts or even Mother's Day. Mother's Day is next week. These would make great gifts too. This one is my favorite. It is Peony Blossom. Peonies are my favorite. Mm, that one smells so good. This one is Water Lily. And this one also, this is my second favorite and it is Peach Blossom. These are perfect for the springtime, for summertime. The cans, the little tins are so cute. Not sponsored or anything. I just saw these and fell in love with them. And I haven't gone to Bath and Body Works in quite a while. And so I didn't, I didn't plan on going either just because it's, I always spend way too much money when I go. Um, so I saw these three for 20. I might, I might re-gift some of them. I might keep them all for me. I don't know. I might go back and get more to do more gifting. Um, but definitely check out your Costco if you're interested in these candles. I got two pairs of these like canvas material. I don't really know what it's called, but they are black shorts by the brand Briggs. I got a medium for Emma and I got a large for myself. When I held them up, it seemed like they were a good length, not too short. They had different colors. Um, a lot of them had different designs, like some were striped, some had a floral pa pattern and then a light teal one. I decided to get black for both Emma and I. These were on sale for $7.99. This is the last item for the Costco haul. It is Mondetta Outdoor Project Men's Performance Tees. These are insanely soft and they are breathable moisture wicking fabric, four-way stretch, odor control technology. Perfect for the summertime. It came in a two-pack gray and olive green. They, do, they did also have a light blue and dark blue set as well. And these were currently on sale for $9.99. And again, it comes with two. So here is the overview of everything we got from Walmart for this week. I spent $126. I got a bag of the Great Value Potato Wedges. I'm going to make the kids barbecue chicken, like shredded chicken sandwiches this week for dinner. And sloppy joes so i got this um to serve with those we have some bird's eyed rice cauliflower this is savory herb i don't think i've tried this flavor yet and then the bird's eye mashed cauliflower roasted garlic i had showed on my instagram last week that i made the bob evans mashed cauliflower which is refrigerator refrigerated not frozen and Josh and I really, really liked it. Walmart did not have the Bob Evans, so I'm going to try this bird's eye. This is from the freezer. I did want to try this since I wasn't able to find the Bob Evans one. And we've been eating that for dinner during the week. I have one tomato and then a bag of these sweet potatoes that are ready to go into the microwave to be steamed. We have some diet twist up and some zero sugar cherry seven up i thought that the kids still liam and mia were doing a science project and i thought they still needed two liters i don't normally buy two liters that is why i did and they already did their project so we will still drink them 
We got a gallon of 2% milk, some of the Stoke cold brew coffee. This is the not too sweet one. I really like that one. We have two bags of this Marzetti Caesar croutons. We really like these ones because they have like the little pepper, pumpernickel croutons in there. Those are my favorite. Two of the banquet chicken pot pies. Two things of great value spaghetti. This is actually for Liam and Mia to take to school as well as these two bags of rubber bands. They're doing another project in class and they needed donations. So I got those for their class. Some great value whipped cream cheese. I like the whipped better. It has less calories. And then Philadelphia garlic and herb whipped cream cheese. That sounds delicious. Some of the Laughing Cow cheeses. This is the light one. Hamburger buns for the meals that I mentioned. We have some of this Lighthouse low-fat caramel dip to have with some apples. I already have apples in the fridge. We have lean ground beef. This will be for the Sloppy Joes as well as this McCormick Sloppy Joe mix. Some lettuce for sandwiches for the kids. Uh, sandwiches for school lunch. We got some of these great value wafer cookies, chocolate and vanilla. Taco Bell mild taco cheese shells. We have not had the, we've had the Taco Bell hard taco shells before, but not the mild ones. So got those to make tacos for the kids. I have ground turkey already in the freezer. I think this is the only meat that I bought this week just because I have everything else already stockpiled in the freezer that we need to use. The Blue Diamond Almonds Almond Nut Thins. Those are really good if you haven't tried them. Some great value honey graham crackers. Hershey's Caramel Topping. The dogs Yuki and Yoshi needed more cookies. Winnie can't have them, but we give her some of the wet prescription dog food that she can have. Um, I give her to that. I give her that as her cookie, and then I always give the dogs a cookie at the same time. So I got them that a variety pack of the Great Value. Um, I didn't order this one actually. Huh. I actually ordered the one with like Doritos and Cheetos, but like the Great Value brand. But we ended up with this one, which has salt and vinegar, sour cream, barbecue, and original. So that'll be fine. They're for the kids anyways, and chips are chips. Two boxes of the shells and white cheddar pastoroni. Sara Lee honey wheat bread. Great Value large white eggs. These bagel thins, I really like these. They're only 110 calories. They have lots of flavor because I have the everything flavor. Those are good. I needed another soap holder. If you guys saw my last Walmart um, pickup order haul, I did get one of these soap holders for my body wash. And then I went to Ulta last week and I got the Good Molecules face wash, but it is a bar of soap. And I've heard really great reviews about it. It was only $5. So... I wanted to get another soap holder for that. Two of these Nor Butter and Herb Pasta Sides. We have some Lando Frost uh, oven roasted chicken breast for sandwiches. Some of these Kraft Singles Americans. We just ran out of those. Uh, the Thomas Light Multigrain English Muffins. Really like these for only 100 calories. And then lastly, we got Malta Meal Cocoa Dino Bites. So pretty much Cocoa Pebbles, which are the boys' favorite. So that is our haul for the week. This is what it looks like to spend $126. This is everything we got. That is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing our Walmart haul and our Costco haul. Let me know in the comments down below. If there was anything new that you saw that you plan on trying for yourself and for your family. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. I am a stay at home mom. I have four kids, three dogs, and married to my husband, Josh. 
And here on my channel, I do like to share a variety of content, but lately I've been sticking to vlogs and hauls. So if you like what you saw, would like to see more, definitely hit the red subscribe button. Come on over, join our growing YouTube family. It is absolutely free and I appreciate the support. And if you are looking for some cleaning motivation, I have another channel called Tackle It With Brit, which is all about cleaning and tackling our to-do list. That channel is linked in the description box down below if you'd like to check it out and support me over there as well. I hope everyone has a great day ahead and remember to take care of yourselves. See you on the next one. Bye.